Hello, everybody, and welcome back to <sighs> Shadow Empire, where we're playing as a Salic Federation. Last episode, we had rebels pop up in our backfield somewhere. Uh, there, right here, well, way out in the sticks. Um, so that's something we're going to have to go ahead and deal with. Um, we're also dealing with a lot of kind of just mopping up operations eight to one let's see if we can actually deal with these guys all right those are gone good the wildlife isn't so scary when you have an armored combat vehicle So yeah, we've got a couple of unknown units in our backfield that we have to deal with. Three to one. Let's let's make those odds better. Eight to one. Just deal with them. Ooh, so close to having them routed. Casualties were in a favorable ratio, though. Let's deal with these guys. 21 to 1. There we go. Let's just have these guys attack, deal with them, and gone. All right. So next turn, we'll wipe them out. These guys will move over, wipe them out. Tanks will be able to redeploy. Don't even think we'll need to redeploy, nor think the tanks will just redeploy to here to help with the mopping up of these guys. As we can't actually bring them into the fold through diplomatic means. Okay, so that's where... That's where they're going with the nuke? I don't I don't understand. It is just out of our range with the majority of our birds. Which I can't help but wonder if that is intentional or not. Uh, like I said here, these guys will be used as a major force going across this like plain to the south of the Balder Domes, which I guess is the name of this mountain range. Going across here, this unclaimed territory, to get into the backfield of the Imperium. Is the hope, at least. Uh, oh, then we have some Galactic Republic infantry there. We're going that way. These guys will hold. These guys will hold. These guys will attack. Just everything. Wipe them out. Hopefully. Ah, so close. And here... Ten to one. All right, we won that. Tanks with a little bit of infantry support. 
five to one. A retreat. That's not a favorable attack. That's not either. Okay, so we're pushing in. We'll deal with the renegade old AI that's there. Metal production's going up. Our ammunition's not doing the best, but it's, you know, it's making do. Okay. Decisions. Tier council task priorities, you're fine. Okay, what did we make for... So we had a twin engine medium. Shining star. That wasn't it, was it? Was that a twin engine heavy? Big boy two? No. What was the new aircraft we just made? Ty no, not type. Models. Level bombers. No. Tactical bombers. Shining star. So the new, the new one... Instead of it being the Star Fires, are going to be the Shining Stars, which is going to be a medium two-engine aircraft for our tactical bombers. So instead of just having 10 200 kilogram precision bombs, they're going to have a bomb hatch and 1,500 kilogram load with longer range, right? Because this is a 12 hex range, and this is a 12 hex range. Okay, so about the same. don't know if that's better or not. Combat, it's better, though. A little bit more costly. Uh, the Starfires are going to be obsoleted right there. Bummer. Somebody made a good point. I think it was Oddball in the comments that seems the uh, AI doesn't do aircraft, so I don't think we're going to need fighters or interceptors. So we're just going to let those go by the wayside here. Then we have the Pelican. So what was the big boy? Big boy a 16 hex range, so the Pelican has a 25 hex range. What does it require in terms of maximum air base? Minimum air base level is 5. But if we get a 5, if we get a... Oof. That's got a much better combat. So I was thinking we could try and roll out some Pelicans for long range, like air bombardment. Or air bombing kind of campaign. Uh, is there anything that we don't have? I mean, we've got heavy aircrafts, light helicopters, light thropters. Not really. Sam launcher. We could do a missile launcher. So, missile launcher, we have the Zeus. What does the Zeus have? He uses heavy conventionals. Five mil steel plate. A double diesel. Let's upgrade that to a triple. Triple diesel. No. Minor worker strike. Use military force to put it down. CEO has an emergency. Help the corporation. I'm okay with that. Upgrade city. That's our new one. Zone orders, public budget. It's, I don't know. Let's give you 500. I don't know if that's the normal we've been giving them, but do that. $15 for workers, standard recruit, and max recruits per turn. We'll do a thousand and confirm orders. And Orthodox Temple. Okay. There we go. One thing I want to do, because there is power down here, we just need to reach it. We can reach it, we can get some contact with them, maybe make them friendly towards us. All right, so for this, we're going to do a ranged attack. Start bombardment. Okay, light bombardment there. I think this will 
No, not result in anything there. Um, in terms of air attacks, though. Could hit all these guys. It's a couple of commands, two units of infantry, and a tank unit. There goes one tank. Ooh, they had more than we thought. Ooh, there goes an entire tank brigade. Half of another brigade. Okay. So we knocked out three armored vehicles. One can... So the entirety of the second armored brigade. Half of the second armored brigades. Okay, there was two second armored brigades. And one-fourth of the 12th light armor battalion. Which is good. That... Knocks him down a peg. I think we're going to move First Corps Command into Willemagru. If you move there. Still don't think we've got the chops to beat these guys down. Doesn't look like there's anything behind them, though, so if we could... Okay, okay, okay. So we're just surrounding them. We're going to surround them to try and beat these guys down. There are, let's see here, there is a tank killer. Looks to be a tank destroyer unit, the second independent destroyer battalion, and, the RP, and an RPG infantry battalion. Okay. If we surround them, we might be able to knock them out with a little bit of starvation. So that's that's the goal. Doesn't sound noble, but whatever. Uh, and I think just to increase our production of metals and the like, we're going to do a recycling facility push around here. near or on roadways so we don't have to spend more than we need so we get those three there we can put one here as well really we just need to push recycling start scouring these ruins everywhere we can one thing to check uh our light map here is status scavenging points there's two big ones on the front line there one just on the front line here that we need to push past and everything else is pretty light okay so we really just need to focus on what we have already to really push it um in terms of metals, looks like we're mining all of our metal deposits, except for the one on the front. Rare metals, we're not mining either of our rare metal sections. We're mining our radioactives. Water, we're good. Rain, we're good because we got the rain. Temperature looks good. Still no radiation. We have just a shitload of oil. we are I mean, we're exploiting a good amount of it, but still, we are, we are flush with oil. I don't think there's anything else that's really... Yeah, so... <sighs> we need to really sock it to the Imperial nose, to the Imperium's nose, get them to back off. So that's done. Get the armor over where we need it. This will be done soon with these various rebel movements universities being built okay good to know so dome farm upgrade let's make sure we're connecting the roadways up
Okay, got that. Oh, anything else we can do? Already fought everywhere, I think. Yeah, we've already fought everywhere. Iron Fort is a miner. Can we do something with Iron Fort? Are you at war with somebody right now? So we're, we're already... So we've already got Iron Fort. So we are at peace. Can we offer client? No, they're at war with somebody. I'm going to guess it's probably Brunmark. There are not a lot of miners left. Silverbridge, they're definitely at war. The Rubble Top are at war. These guys are definitely at war. These guys are an AI, I think. Yeah. These guys are at war with a major power, so I think we just need to kill them to gain access to their resources and city. I'm hoping it's going to be a quick fight. We're going to reinforce this as much as possible. We've got plenty of... Militia, we've got all these guys have been sitting on here for a long time. We get rid of that. Oh, they swing down, reinforce the northern front. Tanks rush in, present a, a line to fight against. Might even divert the third over to here to help push. So it doesn't adversely affect our front line. But yeah, that looks to be about what we can hope for. Let's go to the next turn. Need to get that mobile artillery over here. Help bombard. Maybe next time we'll hit with air. Try and wear down these guys in this uh, essentially bastone area. It would be really great if we could get peace with the Imperium. Give us a little breathing room for a couple of years. Get some research done. We need better infantry armor and some, like uh, some infantry armor and, uh, and small weapons, small arms. There we go. Wow, <sighs> technology. Yeah, like I was saying, I'm thinking about, uh, really thinking about doing a, uh, some hobby stuff on this channel. Maybe for a while, and if it starts doing well, you know, make another channel based entirely on the hobby stuff. So I have, like, two going, kind of diversify a little bit. I don't know. It's something I've been thinking about. Let me know what you think in the comments, honestly. Uh, I'd love to do, like, some just paint vlogs or something where I just uh, show off like paint, um, my like uh, uh, the work that I've done mm, stuff like that I mean I've got a really nice camera now so I can actually take some good video <laughs> like really nice high quality video and since it's not like a daily thing I could upload it in like 4k or something you know, take me like three days to upload or, <laughs> or the like. Speaking of like upload speeds and stuff, still waiting on Starlink. Still waiting on that. I'm hoping, fingers crossed, that that gets... That I get an email soon about being allowed to... Or being entered into the beta. Uh, but honestly, you know, I'm looking on the bright side. The later I get access to the beta the less I'll have to worry about things like, you know, uh, beta downtime and not enough, and like no satellites above me and stuff like that. Uh, so it, 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 it kind of works its way, you know, kind of works out a little bit. 
with that. Okay. But yeah, not a lot else going on, guys. Not a lot else. Hoping that soon, once I get this uh, Waterloo project done for this friend of mine, that I can... Uh, I've got an idea for some stuff I want to try out. I've got some files for, like, a, a full-sized plasma pistol from 40K. be kind of cool to print that out and... Uh, get it all nice like you know start sanding it down get it all smooth put some bondo or you know uh surface filler or something in that get that nice nice smooth finish to it put some rub and buff on it to get like a metallic sheen it would look kind of cool to have that displayed on a wall or something maybe even going as so far as to get a couple of leds uh and uh have like a, a, a glowing pulsing blue from the inside, print in like a transparent material for the uh, plasma coils or something. Be, it'd be fun. It'd be a fun little project. That's uh, that's something that'd be cool. <sighs> okay, Renegade AI seems to be panicking. Yeah, they're the rebels. We've got at least the other one is contained. Okay. What do we got? Come on. It's on our name, so I know it's at the... There we go. No losses or kills. More fuel deposits. So we got a decade of corruption. All right. Okay. So we got that, at least... Okay, so what we need to do now start sending these militia units out here. Sending them where they need to go. Tanks will start heading out okay Let's just go ahead and knock out these guys. And they're gone. All right, next turn, we'll come around here, take what's left of this, and then... All these guys will pile in, finish off the last of the unclaimed territory on our border. We're doing fairly well. Over here. Same forces. Okay. Let's have these guys continue to pile in down here. Uh, 
Okay. Got that. Construct a road all the way down there. There we go. Got plenty of points, build points, so don't need to worry about that. Tanks, 44 to 1 should deal with them. All right. These guys, all of them pile in. Eight to one. Come on. Almost. Okay, there we go. They're dealt with. These guys down here. Hmm. Odd. Ooh. Okay. Construct a road down here. We'll hold off on that for right now. And what do we got here? New director of foreign affairs. Uh, we can get a leader. We can get a leader. Uh, a nation. Recruit somebody. Let's recruit a senior. Point. Minor work strike. Use military force. Sure, we'll help. Ancient underground complex. Let's talk to the AI. So, uh, oratory skills. Shared information that a lot of science has covered. Liquid armor. Okay, so now we have liquid armor as a thing. Okay. Is that a fully researched attack? We're going to have to look at that. Only Dominion Center's turn against us. Send envoys to promote us. Success. Cool. Shining school. All right, nimble fingers. Uh, travel here. Elite sniper. Okay. Let's check that, um, tech. Liquid armor. No, we just discovered liquid armor. Okay, we didn't get it, but we've discovered it. It's a mix of regular armor techniques and energetic fluids that gives extremely good protection against energy weapons. Cool. Okay. Uh, still need actual armor. Or heavy combat armor. That would be good. Tech enables you to equip troops with heavier versions of combat armor, but it's actually... And full protection against almost any hostile environment as well as significant boost in protection against enemy fire. Okay. That would be good. Or polymer armor. Uh, what is our, like, tech uh, leaders? What is our secretary of military... Air Force Research Council, Staff Council, Applied Science, Military Research. Call. What's your priorities? Oh, that's okay. Never mind. Got that. Uh, management. Call. What's your research? New research targets are discussed on your desk. Okay. All right. So current research is personal armor optimization for research points 98. Okay. Gas-powered small arms might be better. I think gas-powered small arms would be a better 
choice right now to give us better lethality. Because that would mean tech level, so we were on uh, uh, personal or optimization. Yeah. Keep in mind this is the linear research field and affects gradual. Okay. So it's a gradual thing. Yeah. We need to go ahead and just get more military tech. But all right. Uh, we got a couple other things we can do this turn, but looking at the time, we're over for this episode. So we're going to come back next episode and continue. So thank you for joining me for this episode. If you'd like to please leave a comment down below, hit the like button. If you want to support, uh, support the channel, hit the subscribe button down below. We'll take a look at the description down below. We have links to my Discord and my Patreon page. I'll see all of you in the next episode. Bye. Bye.